the light of the one wheel, which shows you absolutely nothing compared to my ultimate one wheel hack. Let there be light. Having this flashlight on when you're riding, zip tied to your helmet, is like having a headlight on a freaking car. And it makes riding at night actually doable in a lot of situations where without this light, you wouldn't be able to ride or keep from falling. My favorite feature is the telescoping lens on it. Comes in handy when you want to see what's coming up on you from a distance on the trail. So here it is again with no light, and then here it is with the light. This is the low setting right here, which is still brighter than your standard flashlight. And then you got the strobe, and then regular high. I have two helmets. I have my daytime helmet right here, and my nighttime helmet right here. How I accomplished this was, you get first off, you need a helmet with holes in it, and I basically just zip tied two there in the front, holding it on, and then two there, one, two, holding it in the back. I found this out the hard way after I purchased this headlamp and attached it to my helmet with no zip ties. And upon coming to a fast stop, it went flying off of my head and broke. So this will definitely make it secure. I've had these zip ties on here for at least three or four months now with no issues. Now, depending on the type of helmet you have, you might not be able to accomplish this. But if you do have an 88 helmet like this with holes in it, you just basically remove the pads and then you just get this zip ties through there, attach it on. And then that should secure it good enough. Just do the same thing in the front. Remove the pad. Secure it on there with a zip tie. And you're ready to start riding around at night. So the best thing about this flashlight is not only is it an extremely high-powered flashlight that you can adjust, it also comes with strobe mode. That's bright, and that's the low setting. And it also has this on the back. So if you're worried about cars seeing you at night from the back, you can turn this on, which will make it more obvious that you're there and riding. And it's just another added safety feature. There is two different strobe settings, I believe. And it also tells you the battery charge level. Now, I bought another one of these just in case this one ever craps out on me. So let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you what makes this thing work. I just want to say right now, I'm in no way sponsored by this brand. I just tried a few different styles of flashlights on Amazon to give me the best illumination while riding at night. And this brand came in pretty cheap. It's about $28, I think, or something like that. I'll put the link in the description, but it's a great deal for what you get in this package. So if you go to the back here, you'll see this thing also doubles as a power bank and it takes three 18650 lithium ion batteries. You can remember how to open it. Okay, yeah, there's just a little notch right there. So it takes three 18650, 3000 milliamp, lithium ion batteries so you can also use this to charge your 18650 batteries as well which is really cool so yeah that's what it comes with it comes with the three batteries the flashlight itself and then the strap setup obviously so this thing has completely changed my ability to ride at night and made it enjoyable and it's so bright, it's like you have a car headlight strapped to your helmet, so I would definitely give it a try. The downside is, if you don't want 
to use multiple helmets and you just only have the one helmet, you will have to cut the zip ties off every time if you want to remove the flashlight for daytime riding. But what I did was I just went ahead and bought a second helmet for night. So I didn't have to keep cutting the zip ties on it. I mean, these triple eight helmets are like, I don't know, I think it was like 25, maybe 30 bucks on Amazon. So it's definitely worth it if you ride a lot at night, which I do. So anyways, I hope this ultimate one wheel hack helps you guys out. Don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.